हरे कृष्णा वी कॉन्ट डिलीट आर मेमोरीज बट वी कैन चूज वॉट वी रिमेंबर we all during our life journey get scarred in various ways some of us may get scarred by the hurts that we get sometimes people disappoint us people betray us those whom we trust turn against us and these scar us these uh, these incidents they scar us they create memories which scar us conversely you now we may get exposed to stimuli we may succumb to indulgences which may also form some provocative impressions within us and even these memories of uh, anti devotional pleasures or the memories of unbearable miseries they are there impressed in our in our mind <clears throat> sometimes say if somehow on our computer if we download some program or some file or some something which we don't want we can just press a delete button and delete it off sometimes something just gets downloaded off its own if we just visit some site as soon as find it we can delete it now the computer memory can be deleted but there's no delete button for our memory so uh, what do we do when such uh, unsavory memories Uh, start troubling us no are we meant to be lifelong stuck with those memories no not necessarily no even, even if we can't delete our memories we can decide what we remember just like sometimes some files might be there in the computer but if we don't open them even if somehow we don't we can't delete them if we don't open them the files are just lying there like that in our mind there are certain impressions there are certain memories but it is we who have to decide whether we are going to remember that or not if we keep our consciousness positively engaged filled in constructive activities then no matter what happens we won't get agitated because the impression the memory that are there they become activated when they are recollected so memories become activated when they are recollected if we don't recollect them then they won't get activated of course sometimes some memories may just start getting activated on their own but even then it is only when we give them our attention that they start growing if we decide that we are not going to give our attention to them then they cannot grow so this sort of proactiveness in dealing with our mind in dealing with the kind of thoughts desires that come in our mind that is vitally important for us when we are trying to practice spiritual life it's important even in our day to day life and if all the more important when we are practicing spiritual life so krishna in the bhagavad gita in 18.58 says that machittah sarva durgaani mat prasadat tarishyasi he says if you become conscious of me you will pass over all obstacles by my grace this means krishna is telling that all obstacles sarva durgaani so it also includes the obstacles created by memories so instead of remembering past hurts remembering um, those memories which are unpalatable which are unsavory we focus on remembering krishna Now, remembering krishna not only gives us a positive fulfilling object of thought but it also gives us an opportunity to relegate those memories further and further back that so that when we create positive memories then the old memories go so far into the back that they are no longer they they no longer recollected and that's how we move steadily towards krishna so by cultivating positive memories we can march steadily towards krishna and overcome the influence of our past bad memories thank you hare krishna